Fire ant bait has three ingredients. The insect control chemical, called the active ingredient, is dissolved in a substance that attracts the ants, such as soybean oil. The attractant is absorbed onto some kind of carrier, often corn-based, allowing the bait to be easily spread. Fire ant workers quickly pick up the bait, moving the active ingredient into the fire ant colony and away from other organisms. Fire ant baits are considered to be very safe for the environment because they contain such a tiny amount of active ingredient. The ants extract the toxicant-laden oil and feed it to other members of the colony. Because the active ingredient is usually slow acting, there is ample time for the material to be fed to the queen. Baits are the most effective method to keep the queen, the heart of the colony, from reproducing. When baits are broadcast applied, they effectively treat mounds not large enough to be seen. The way a fire ant bait works depends on the active ingredient in the bait. Each fire ant bait acts somewhat differently, so read the label to determine the right way to apply each product and to determine how much to use. Some baits contain an insecticide that kills all ants that ingest a sufficient dose, including the workers and the queen. You will see results from these baits in a few days to a few weeks, depending upon the active ingredient that is used. Insecticide-based baits usually provide several months of control. Baits with an insect growth regulator or similar compound reduce the production of viable eggs. They do not kill the queen or the adult workers, so colonies decline more slowly. The slow decline of existing colonies prevents new colonies from developing for up to a year after application. Results from broadcast applications in late spring or early summer can be seen in 6 to 12 weeks. Insect growth regulators usually provide 6 to 12 months of control depending on how soon new fire ant queens reinvade the area. The two types of baits can be mixed together at half rates to provide faster control than what an insect growth regulator can provide, yet longer lasting control than occurs with an insecticide-based bait. Bait mixes are now commercially available.